Hey guys, Arthur here from Playtech TV and today we have a very exciting video for you guys. Today we'll be looking at the new AMD Trinity APUs. So now we're going to show you what to expect when you first get your APU. So breaking the seal with our improvised unboxing knife. This is a very easy job. So inside the box you get the APU itself with the case badge, you get the user manual and the warranty guide as well as a stock heat sink with a pre-applied thermal paste. So in terms of the differences between the old Alano and the Trinity is that the Trinity uses a new pile drive architecture. It now uses the new FM2 socket, so if you're planning to upgrade from the old Alano, you will need a new motherboard. One of the major differences that the Trinity APUs have is that it now uses the HD 7 series graphics. This means that we'll be getting about 30% more graphics performance. So in terms of processing power, AMD says that we'll be getting about 25% better results. It still has a TDP of 100 watts for the high-end model, but you get better power efficiency technologies. So when some parts of the processor are not being used, they completely shut down or idle into a lower state to conserve energy. AMD has provided us with a small graphical presentation to show us how the APUs are composed. So here on this presentation, you can see that they've used the chipset, a CPU, and combined it with a discrete AMD graphics card to produce this APU unit. And AMD sums it up right here. One chip, endless possibilities. So now we're going to be introducing you to our test bench and starting with the motherboard we have the F2A 85X UP4 from Gigabyte. In our test bench we're going to be running the AMD Trinity A10 5800K APU running at stock speeds. We're going to have the G-Skill Rip Jaws X 8 gigs RAM. We're going to be using the same motherboard as we mentioned earlier and as for the storage we're going to use the Corsair Force GT 120 gig SSD. So to power all this up, we're using the Silverstone 850W Schrader 80 plus gold power supply. So in terms of the testing method, we're going to be running Battlefield 3, Borderlands 2, Sniper Elite V2, Dishonored. And in terms of the software benchmarks, we're going to be running 3 Mark 11, Unigen Haven benchmark, as well as Cinebench. So as you can see, AMD Trinity 18 5800K cannot handle the high resolutions that well. So you're better off playing the games at 1680 by 1050 or lower resolutions. So playing at these lower resolutions will make the games more playable than playing at full HD resolutions and will basically enhance your experience. So if you're out there on the market looking for a solution for your light gaming needs, then this might be the choice for you. It comes at an affordable price and it delivers a good performance. So to sum it up, you'll be able to play on low to medium settings on lower resolutions. Games like Borderlands 2 and Call of Duty series will be very playable on these APUs. So if you're a high-end gamer, then you should probably look elsewhere for a higher-end solution with a discrete graphics card. We have various stock here at Playtech NZ, so please come in and let our friendly staff show you this product. So leave a comment in the section below to tell us what you think about the new AMD Trinity APUs. And don't forget to subscribe for more content.